Developing now another investigation, this time involving students and sex accusations. That's right. Chicago Public Schools is calling it serious misconduct at Lincoln Park High School. CBS 2's Chris Ty is live at the school where a meeting between school leaders and parents starts in an hour. Brad, Erica, sources who have been interviewed by police tell me this centers on a student sex scandal, part of an overnight trip around the holidays. It was a trip by the basketball team to the Detroit area, a trip that was not sanctioned by school leaders and allegations not believed by the basketball team. Christmas week in suburban Detroit at the Motor City Round Ball Classic. Lincoln Park High School basketball won two of their three games, a trip that triggered when we won, pass it. this. We went there to play basketball. We had a tournament. We did very well there. We went two and, uh, two and three. A week after the Detroit trip, the school's principal said the overnight trip over winter break was not a school-sponsored event. An investigation followed, and last Friday, that principal, John Thewitt, and assistant principal, Michelle Broomfield, were removed from their positions. The basketball coach, dean of the school, also reassigned, and the remainder of the varsity boys' basketball season has been suspended until further notice. We're going down the drain. All our hard work is for nothing. As students marched for their administrators to return, basketball players shared with me something did happen in Detroit. Down in Detroit, one of our players had got suspended for two games down there. For doing what? Because they were up so late to like 1.30 playing a video game. And our coaches had caught them playing a video game, right? And then when and I You realize people are talking more about a sexual yeah, encounter I, than a video game, right? Yeah, but there ain't nothing happened like that. Ishmael Habib started this petition to get school leaders and his season back. CPS's lack of clarity, he says, muddying scholarship opportunities for players on the 13th best team in the state. I feel like... It's either somebody hating on our team because this is the first year we're actually doing good as a team, as a program. Um, we haven't had success like this in, in, in like in years. Just before we came on the air here at five o'clock tonight, a CPS source close to the investigation telling Channel 2 that the administrative failures are much wider than first reported, saying that it deals with retaliation against complainants, that school leaders are interfering with investigations, and that evidence was withheld. And from the athletic department, the failures range from dishonesty towards families, athletic recruitment violations, and financial misconduct. The Office of Student Protections also telling CBS2 tonight, sources are indicating that this is much wider than just the basketball team, the boys basketball team, this ranges with other sports as well, including the girls basketball team. As we indicated, there is a meeting in just about one hour's time where parents are going to be able to meet with administrators, learn about what they know and where they think this investigation is going to go. Brad and Erica, it looks like this could be much wider than originally reported. And of course, we will stay on it. Live in Lincoln Park, Chris Ty, CBS2 News.